talk about the rare earth element analysis, geological observed model, and some conclusions. So today I talk <coughs> about the upstream of phosphate. It's not extraction of rare earth element or other things. This is uh, the analysis uh, in the upstream, in the Warhol rock, and also in separate particles. So uh, uh, in introduction, so this is uh, actually this is my second time at Senfos after the third edition where we present uh, the preliminary data on all our rock uh, uh, cantons and uh, we were surprised by high cantons in the southern part from the Tibisa region. Uh, so here today we will talk about separate particles to check where red earth element is exactly enriched. Because in rock, in phosphorus rock, we have some particles about pellet uh, which are rounded or coprolite and also, uh, uh, also fish stick and also some gluconite. So we will check all these particles separately using, uh, using uh, uh, some methods to check where the area is enriched. The aim of this study, as I uh, mentioned uh, uh, now, is to investigate separate particles and also to highlight redox condition and the phosphogenesis uh, uh, model for this phosphorus and for gluconization process. This work research together so many researchers from <coughs> Algeria and also France and uh, also Brunei. I would thank uh, for the University of Bourgogne, the Anna University, and for the Vienna program where our coordinator is here. Thank you very much for the non-stop support. So, uh, LE benefits. So, this is a this is a question we will uh, focus on the non the uh, group. Uh, so uh, what will bring rare earth elements for economic issues and also for the geological studies? This is the question. We have two targets. The first target is economic because, uh, because uh, uh, the, the rare earth elements have, are first of all economic. Why? Because we use, uh, uh, as you know, that rare earth element, we use it in uh, electronics, uh, in the television, also in uh, cars, we use it in aeolian industry, uh, also in your smartphone you have some quantities of rare earth elements. It's very important. And also classic, uh, classic deposits are not very important now, so we have to check uh, another alternative to valorize that uh, rare earth element, especially maybe phosphorus, maybe also iron deposits. The second part is the geologist, uh, geologist target. Why? Because rare elements serve as a signature for modeling, geological modeling. For the study area, quickly, so the Algerian phosphorus are located here in the uh, Algerian uh, Tunisian border. Uh, this is the Bissa region where the main resources are concentrated. Uh, it's about 2 billion of uh, tons for phosphorus. And we, uh, the geological framework uh, uh, is represented by an, inter an interlaid of many formations, geological formations. Uh, phosphorus are here in the Eocene age, uh, Paleocene to Eocene age. For the study, the study outcome here to, to perform a comparative study between uh, uh, the northern and the southern basin, we will study the, the first one is uh, the elk with uh, locality. <coughs> here we have, uh, we have, we have uh, uh, an interlayer of uh, thin phosphorite with, uh, with, with uh, also dolomite, which uh, the thickness is more and more important. Uh, for the, the second one is very important uh, in point of economy. Here, the, uh, the, the phosphorus from the Tibisa Southern. In the Tibisa Southern, we have, uh, we have a high quantity of phosphorus, and it, uh, uh, the thickness uh, can reach uh, uh, 35 meters, and uh, it's uh, uh, an interlayer of three, uh, three, three sublayers, according to their P205 uh, cantons. Uh, so we have three sublayers, the basal, the main, and the upper. So our study will be focused here uh, on the main layer uh, where we mining, uh, uh, where we mine for phosphorite uh, production. For uh, the methods and analytical techniques, so I, I would first uh, talk about the, uh, our investigation method. We start with the field because the geologist first of all is the field. Field observation after with the petrography, uh, petrography, macroscopic, and also. Uh, for selected the uh, candidate grains for uh, in city analysis because here we will talk about in city analysis, not wood or rocket analysis. And we, uh, we check also uh, 
uh, we select the, our pellet, our copper light, and also our fish tip to, to, to perform a comparative study between the grains to check which, uh, which one are more enriched. Uh, so, measure trace and rare element candidates using me, uh, electron microbrom uh, and the uh, laser NCPMS technique were also performed in uh, France. Uh, and also, uh, the LA Kempton study the particle signature. So, we will check the signature of rare earth element in order to, to, to identify the, uh, uh, the deposition, uh, deposition condition. And after with comparison, finally, we will check the, uh, the, the gluconid origin, also the depositional environment, and also inside uh, on uh, uh, phosphorate phosphogenesis. So, uh, I would uh, like you to present quickly how, uh, how I performed my selection using, uh, first of all, this uh, here we have, we, we have the wool horror phosphorates after check with the binocular and uh, we're using water this year with the classification uh, uh, and the gravitational classification. Uh, after we, we have here a mixture, we perform a hard hand pick the uh, gluconite. First of all, for gluconite, it's not okay for uh, the, the colors. Gluconite are a little bit green. Uh, for the other particles are pellet, this is phosphorite pellets with, uh, which, uh, which have more uh, P uh, element and here also we have the elongated coprolite and also fish tip which will be analyzed. For the technique, uh, ICPMS technique is in city analysis. Uh, so after, after select uh, the candidate, we use a laser to check here exactly how, uh, how, uh, how uh, uh, trace element uh, content using also the, uh, the uh, ICPMS and we have good quality data according to this method. Now I present results. We starting with the field, uh, with the field, because <coughs> the field is the first thing. Uh, here in the field we have uh, a uh, succession of many, of several uh, facies, but in the bottom we have, uh, we have an enrichment of uh, gluconite grains. While in the southern part, here, we have a enrichment of the main layer, which consists of uh, two facies, but it's uh, more likely enriched with the gluconite here. The color is not, uh, is not okay with uh, this uh, data show, but we have here uh, uh, gluconite, uh, an abundance of green grains. So we will check it, uh, the, the analysis. In petrography here, it's, uh, it's more clear that this gluconite are here, the Nargilesius material and also in the southern part, but we remark that the uh, gluconite are more enriched in the southern part compared to the northern part. And the, um, and the microscopic, for microscopic view, uh, as you can check here, that the gluconites uh, have uh, the same habit, especially the, the internal core. Uh, and also here, the inter the, it's, uh, it's a little bit green, but the internal core is, uh, uh, is more likely look like the, the coexisting particle. So, would you, uh, uh, could we talk about the gluconitization of parent particle? So, the, 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 this gluconit is more likely uh, a gluconitization uh, of the parent particle due to several conditions. We will see uh, several arguments uh, that we, uh, we present uh, after. So uh, under map here, we uh, select uh, for uh, coprolite, so here, and also for pellet in blue and gluconite in green. And uh, uh, using a semi-quantitative analysis here, as you can see that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the P and C are, are more likely uh, important in, uh, uh, in coprolite and in pellet. While uh, in the second part, gluconite are also enriched using in P and the CA, but also in silicium, in aluminium, and silicate aluminium, and also potassium and uh, uh, Fe. It means that uh, the gluconate show clear enrichment of those elements compared to other phosphate particles, but deficient with CA and P as I mentioned. For the measured element that I present uh, today for the first time, here uh, it confirmed the result that we obtained that gluconite, that green uh, grains uh, bearing uh, phosphorus, show C and P content and also it enriched with the, the, the other elements such as FEI, RSA element indicating rather phosphatized gluconite.
Now I present the real uh, element. Before I present the real uh, element, I want to, uh, to, to I want to, to, to present the remem uh, remaining for the result that we, we obtained for the first time on uh, the Algerian phosphorus, but it's wool horror. First, uh, the samples are wool horror. So in the northern part, we have uh, contains uh, an average of 343 uh, ppm. But in the second uh, part, which is uh, more enriched, in the southern part, where we uh, uh, mine, mine uh, too many, uh, the second part in the southern part, it kept snow. Uh, here, the maximum is going uh, to 900 ppm with an average of 66 to three, uh, 623 ppm. So, the question here how to explain that air enrichment in the kept snow deposit and which particles are more likely enriched. So we, we start uh, here with the uh, density analysis on pellet and coprolite. As you can see here, that uh, the the air contents uh, are not uh, very important in the uh, in the pellet, but in gluconite, uh, as you can see here, that we have a high contents of rare earth element about uh, uh, three five hundred uh, ppm. This is in the northern part. Well, why in the south part is more likely enriched in rare earth element? Right. Uh, look here, the coprolite, uh, we have contents about, uh, it's not clear, about uh, 1 to 5, 100 to 40, uh, 100 ppm. But in, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, spots at the Gluconite, we have here an exceptional uh, rare earth element analysis. So it's about 600 to 1, uh, 1076 ppm. This is a shell that Gluconite has. Uh, uh, are more enriched in, uh, in, uh, in rare earth element and the, those uh, gluconites are at the origin of the enrichment in wood horror rock uh, at the Cape Snow deposit. So uh, now I, I will talk uh, on the point of geological uh, modelization. Well, rare earth element uh, it can serve like a signature of the medium that uh, formed that. After standardization to pass post archaean chain, so here, as you can check, that uh, in the northern part of, uh, of the basin here, uh, in the northern part, we have an enrichment of uh, heavy rare earth element with a depletion of light rare earth element uh, with also this uh, shape of the, uh, of the pattern. Uh, it remembers as of the typical open marine RE pattern, uh, which, we, which consists of high cerium anomaly and also that enrichment of high REE elements. Now, this is the seawater pattern. It consists with, a, a stereo, uh, with high stereo anomaly. It uh, characterizes the oxic environment. So the northern part is oxic environment. The positional environment. In the second part, which is uh, the southern, here something is changing. Look, uh, as you can see here, that the stereo anomaly is a little bit loud. And uh, for also gluconite and other coexisting particles, so gluconite are in green. We have uh, as, the, as a little bit uh, slightly enriched in uh, middle rare earth element, which is uh, can uh, can has a proxy with uh, with uh, with sub oxid to sub reduce the environment and the possible transport, possible also reworking, remobilization. All this uh, many researchers talk about about uh, this uh, argument. About the, so we can use the cerium anomaly as proxy for paleoredox. Paleoredox means the redox in uh, when uh, phosphoric formant. So the serum anomaly in uh, oxic uh, in oxic state uh, uh, it precipitate and it remove for sea water. So it kills the serum anomaly. High serum anomaly means high oxic environment. Low serum anomaly means subreduced suboxic environment. So uh, results uh, show that the, the northern part. The particle, uh, particles in the north part show high serial anomaly and decay suboxic <coughs> and more oxic environment, while in the southern part is uh, more likely uh, uh, low serial anomalies, as you can see here, the, uh, the, as you can see from uh, zero, minus zero, uh, 18 to minus 0 to minus 18 to minus 0.29, it's uh, with slight uh, uh, middle rare earth element enrichment. It indicates subreduced condition with uh, possible reworking. Uh, here we talk uh, after we talk uh, that gluconite is coming from the original pellets. We have uh, too many arguments. First of all, are petrographic. 
sell the same chain to or sell the same internal form as, uh, as I said before. And also the major element in terms of mixture of uh, carbon hepatic with the enrichment of the other element and also the RAE signature. So the gluconate have an origin of fecal pellets. It means uh, gluconization of par particle, uh, par particle with the uh, uh, enrichment of total uh, of total red earth element. Okay. Now for the gluconization process, why in the southern part is more enriched than the other? So the gluconite, the gluconite abundance in the southern terrestrial to the southern part indicate favorable condition for gluconization means uh, the, the element. Also, the, the hypothesis, the most uh, admitted here, indicate that the, the gluconization, gluconization needed rapid degradation in the first time, the first stage uh, the, for the solution, the solution of silicate, and in the second stage, the gluconization must be controlled with a semi-confident environment. Uh, in the third part, the NRA enrichment would be in relation with a long exposure to seawater, and uh, also the transport winnowing of particles uh, and the depositing into a complete environment favorites the gluconization. Now, I have to, to talk about geological model. This is uh, this is my interest, geologist uh, uh, researcher. So uh, here, uh, the geological model in the northern part, we think uh, that the, the phosphorites are in city, uh, in shallow depth, with more oxic environment. While in the second part, the phosphorites are formed here, but it's uh, transported uh, according to winnowing and transport, and uh, redeposited again the, the due to the higher uh, thickness of uh, of the phosphorite in the uh, in the southern part, and also it uh, it is with the uh, with the gluconization process. So in conclusion, glucon gluconite as a metallotex. Here in uh, geology, metallotex means if we are looking for but high rare element, we will check check this uh, this gluconite. Uh, gluconite also show an abundance in the main layer of phosphorite in the textile deposit with their presence is restricted uh, to the basal phosphorus at the, in the northern part. Here we have uh, uh, the preliminary content of uh, this uh, gluconite in the north and in the south. And also, <coughs> we think that the transport and win-win of fecal pellets in the capstone was responsible for rapid <coughs> degradation of organic matter, which was successfully followed by gluconitization processes, most likely likely controlled by the silicon pellet environment. For uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, research uh, uh, project. So in the in the future, we we are uh, looking to study the mechanism uh, that conduct the RA enrichment in that gluconite and the application on the positional environment, the geochronology also of this uh, this, uh, this uh, particles, and all this to understand what happened here and uh, the, around the uh, the glycerin, the, the glycerin Island and uh, to uh, reconstruct all the history of Algeo Tunisian phosphorates in the east from Tunisia and the, in the west from uh, Algeria. Uh, uh, I can't finish without thanking my uh, research team, also uh, all the universities and programs that support, uh, for the non-stop supporting my research and also my ex-engineer license and master at the University uh, of Wolverhampton. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, listening to my talk. Here is a little bit uh, 
for them with the presence of glucolite, which is a selective material. So uh, when we, we perform the correlation, uh, such as uh, also multivariate variant correlation, uh, such as a CPA component, we find that the rare element is more likely uh, with the argillaceous material, like uh, silicium, aluminium, uh, and other elements. This, is, uh, this is means that we have first stage of rare element in our phosphoric particles. The first stage is uh, in substitution with the, the, upper, the upper tight structure. It's okay. But the second, uh, the second one is more likely enriched in the, uh, in the uh, argillaceous material like glucosamine. Maybe by adsorption, uh, this is uh, represent the target uh, that we, we, we are seeking uh, to, to understand, to understand, uh, especially to, to understand the, the, the enrichment of uh, the, 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 the in the global